Well, new tonight at 10, anglers on the Gulf Coast are raising concerns over an increasing shark population, which they say is impacting both recreational and commercial fishing. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to fishermen and local conservationists about the economic impact and potential solutions. Anglers tell me strict federal regulations on shark fishing has led to an abundance in the Gulf, resulting in more sharks eating their catch before it's reeled into the boat. Tonight, the once depleted shark population in the Gulf of Mexico is rebounding after years of overfishing. But now their increasing numbers are interfering with anglers counting on fish for their livelihoods. Owning the business, we can kind of try to duck and dodge as much as we can, but, but the sharks are a major problem. Dale Woodruff, owner of Class Act Charters in Orange Beach, has been running fishing trips in the Gulf for the last 23 years. He says the number of sharks in the water has made his job significantly tougher. Sometimes we can't get our baits down, and then when we do hook a good fish, we can't, we can't get them in. They'll either eat the fish off, uh, cut the fish in half. I literally feel like sometimes the sharks even follow us from one spot to another. Experts say the problem is called depredation and it's resulting in financial losses for anglers across the Gulf Coast. There's no doubt that it's one of the biggest issues that fishermen face. Marcus Dryman, marine fisheries specialist in Mississippi, says studies and projects are underway to find a solution. And while anglers have petitioned federal agencies to relax shark fishing regulations, research shows sharks aren't overpopulated and it would do more harm than good. What we need to do is find ways to keep sharks off of fish that have already been captured, shark deterrence, avoidance strategies, and things of the like. The answer is certainly not increased harvest of sharks. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.